Oh man, this music's killing me. Come on. <laughs> Hey everyone, we're back with part 14 of Kathy Rain. Um, we are looking for a box which we think was buried here. Oh good, a sign. I was worried I'd miss this huge ass cliff. <laughs> um, there's not really much to do here. We already, like, I assume, is this the way up? Uh, oh, okay, it's one of those long scenes. Um, yeah, she mentioned something about maybe needing equipment to find the box, but I don't have a metal detector. Whoa. Ooh. Wow. What a view. So, this is where Father Bill saw the lights. This is where it all began for the church. Not much of interest up here. I guess I'll just mark the point on my map. Wait. Triangle. It's a triangle. The lights were spelling it out all along. And there's the center. That must be where I'll find answers. Hmm. Does that mean she doesn't have to wander aimlessly through the woods? Like I did last time I played this game? Oh, I thought she was looking up a box because she mentioned that last time. Um, okay. So, apparently for an achievement... I have to combine my... No, that's a stun gun. Zipper lighter with cigarettes. Oh, I've unlocked the fiery bike design. Oh, finally. <laughs> I remember I used to really like that design as a kid. <laughs> the fire. I had it on my, um, on my website. use your metal detector wait i have a metal detector what metal detector i don't have a metal detector did i miss something oh dear <sighs> come back down from the peak and use your metal detector um okay that's a <laughs> we got a problem okay so i missed a step um i need to go to see grandma Grandma. Oh. Oh, really wish there was a fast way back. It's a pretty cool view. Fast way back to the um, map, I guess. Come on. Alright, I'm so changing my bike now. Oh. <laughs> oh. Actually, I wish that the design was just a little bit smaller, but it's still pretty cool. Um, yeah, why not change things up? Um, Alright, so that's new, Conwell Woods, but I need my metal detector. Hi, Grandma. Listen, I found something in this storage unit. Oh? What was it? Custody papers, with my name on them. I was hoping you wouldn't have to see those. I need to know what happened, Grandma. <sighs> Sharon was never a good mother to you, Kathy. I know. It was the illness. She tried her best. It wasn't all bad. You don't know the despicable things she and Brian did. Drugs, violence. We wanted something better for you. Joseph started talking to lawyers, staying up late at night on the phone, trying to find a way, some kind of loophole to get you back. But eventually we ran out of courts to appeal to and your mother retaliated with a restraining order. And that was it. She had won. I wish things could have been different. I do too, dear. Every day. Now you're getting me close to tears. Let's talk about something else. Okay, Grandma. 
Oh. And that gives you an achievement. Custody closure. Oh man, this music's killing me. Come on. <laughs> so apparently there was a metal detector in the attic the whole time. Hmm. Was that is that new? Was that there before? I don't remember seeing that there before. Hmm. Okay. I'll load it on the Catmobile. So I just went back and checked, and yes, it was there. I just didn't pay it any attention. All right. I'll have access to the metal detector anywhere now. Okay. So now we go back to the peak. Um, yeah, so something we talked about, uh, I talked about before was the whole, you know, point and click adventure games where, you know, certain games will allow you to pick up all and sundry within a a scene within a room um even if you don't have a particular um reason for picking that up and then others like i'll go grab the metal detector oh that was weird am i touching the key okay that was strange um others that you have to have a particular reason before they'll let you pick up an item like, oh yeah, this one. I have a reason for getting a metal detector. Got something. I'll mark the spot on the ground. I'll go and put this back on the Catmobile. And what do you just dig with your hands? Oh. Time for this shovel to be put to use. I... Did I grab a shovel? I guess I must have at some point. <laughs> oh. Hey, is this shovel taken? Good enough for me. There was a metal box buried here. There was? Does that mean there Nothing is? Nothing else in there. Okay, that was a strange line delivery. So we open it. Moment of truth. Is it a there cassette? was a whole bunch of cassette tapes. Of course it box. was. <laughs> Most of them are in really rough shape, though. Only two of them look even playable. Ah, uh, it's always a cassette tape with this game. All right, I guess we should listen to them. But I reckon <laughs> we should go to the top of this cliff to look at the view while we listen to whatever strange things are on this tape. Uh, uh, stop clicking now. Ooh, a bit jerky. A bit jerky, but well, oh, I do like it though. That's pretty serene. How's the serenity? <laughs> this is one of the tapes I found in the buried metal box. Okay, operation. Uh, 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 uh. uh. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, uh. August 6th, 1981. I've come to understand that the environment in the source is formed by the mind that inhabits it. That's essentially how the so-called mending operates. I also believe that certain objects in the real world can survive the transition. Uh, these things are made of strong materials, often metal, and can potentially be used to create a form of a discrete pathway. However, to do that, an item must be innately imbued with a mutual significance for both subjects. What? A shared truth. They've lost me. So, is this Joseph? I can't remember. Uh, oh, micro cassette wall safe. Micro cassette storage unit. All right, yes. The old rewind. This is Joseph Rain. Okay. Operation Log Part 2. Yeah. Oh, whoops. I've come I just wanted to make sure I that back. was his voice. Um, okay. Let's have a look at the other tape. Is it going to be more mumbo jumbo? Oh, how do I do this? All save. Keep going. There we go. August 8th, 1981. along the outer perimeter. I've determined that some kind of endothermic reaction is taking place. So it's 
important to be observant of changes in temperature. Find the source. By severing the link, perhaps I can save them. Jimmy and all the others. Reoccurring dream. I'm standing in front of a huge black hole in a clearing in the woods. There's a man dressed in red, urging me to jump. I'm afraid to, but I take the plunge anyway. For some reason, I don't think I have anything to lose. As I'm falling, I reach for the parachute cord, but to my horror, there's nothing there. That's when I wake up. Hmm. So I actually, I do, I've just been thinking about this view while he's been talking. Oh, you can have a look at things. Oh, I remember now. Mom took me here once. Oh, Jesus, I would not take I my daughter to the I enjoy watching the town from cliff. above like this, feeling separated <gasps> from it and, well, I guess separated from all the bad things that happened too. I remember this morbid fantasy I had of my dad coming up here and then falling off. I kept scanning the rocks below for a dead body and nearly slipped. Mom gave me a good spanking yeah, for that. Yeah, she should have given herself a spanky. That's why you don't take children to dangerous places. It's the island with the treehouse. Looks small from up here. Oh. Conwell Woods. I have a feeling I'll be going out there soon. Um. So anyway, I was thinking, so this is apparently where the priest saw the lights, but did he saw, see the lights over the lake or over the woods or was there like I guess what she's suggesting is there's a manifestation of the lights up here next to the cliff but like is it actually that specific that that's where he saw them I can't remember you see what I mean like it could have been any one of those so her sort of triangle theory <laughs> unless it specifies Oh, do you want to take your... No, she's going to leave the shovel there. Can't remember where she got it. Did you get it from the evidence room? <sighs> Alrighty. Do we hit the woods now? No. We hit the cabin. That's right, because we need to look out for temperature changes. Here we go. Gonna nick this. I remember nicking this in the other game. <laughs> I'll just borrow this for I'm a while. Pretty sure the whole boat island thing was is new. This was the cliff. In the bayou. All these trees. I look mean, the Conwell same. Woods. It's hard to find the exact point on the map. I should be fairly close, though. But Kathy, do you have your snake tattoo, an animal mask? <laughs> Otherwise, you won't get, you won't gain entry. <laughs> Not a big fan of that. I okay. It is warm, I guess. Okay. So. Apparently if I walk towards the, okay. Towards the exit to find the coldest. That's, no, I did, oh no. I hope I didn't mess that up. This is creepy. My god, what is this place? So like, there just nobody else has ever just happened to Met come up on her this? And I doubt it. Someone left this message here for me. Okay. 
So apparently this is an achievement, but... I don't want to throw that in there. Not that memento. <laughs> Met her end. Someone left this message here for me. It's the red scythe flower. Must be hundreds of them here. Intense. Oh, they're making me a bit dizzy. Greetings! It's the crimson one. You again. Me again. You better have some answers, crimson one. All in due time. Your friend is being claimed by the darkness. She's standing on the brink of the abyss as we speak. Are you talking about Eileen? Yes. Who else is if he talking about? If you wish to save her, Jesus, you me. must descend. Why? What is down there? The tribulation. The reflection of the soul. Nothing good. We call it the mending. AKA freakiness. Who's we? <laughs> My kind. Are you capable of giving a straight answer? What does your kind actually want? All we want is for you to take your medicine, Kathy. For you to grow and be happy. If that's the case, why were all those people hurt? Lily? Jimmy? Grandpa? You misunderstand. What one wants and what one is able to do are two different things. Happiness is not a one-way street. It cannot be given, only earned. Your grandfather understood that. He embraced it. Wait, you saw Grandpa? Oh yes, right here. He was a tortured soul, desperate for some kind of meaning after losing the light of his life. You, he sought the power below, the vessel of redemption. But Grandpa didn't make it. He failed. How could I succeed when he wasn't able to? He was so much stronger than me. So much braver. Is that what you believe? Perhaps you don't know him as well as you think. But why me? Why are you making me do this? Because you so desperately need it, Kathy. You're haunted by your past, by all these painful memories long forgotten. They follow you like a shadow, pulling you down. They taint your every thought, impulse, and deep desire. It is foul to us. This is crazy. I could just walk away, get on my bike and drive, forget I was ever here. There's nothing stopping you. Eileen. I can't leave her like that. Perhaps she'll be the one who breaks the cycle. <laughs> 